بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم my brothers and sisters intoxicants as you know are prohibited to consume in islam we're not allowed to consume anything that intoxicates in large quantities even if the consumption was a small quantity of it because the prophet sallallahu says ma askara kathiruhu fa qaliluhu haram that which a lot of it intoxicates then even a little bit of it is prohibited to consume that is the consumption so people sometimes ask about alcohol in sanitizers alcohol in uh, perfumes and in some cosmetics and so on what about that let's understand something there are several rulings regarding alcohol but the term alcohol is a very broad English term that includes the Arabic term khamr and much more than khamr. So what is khamr? It is generally referred to the wines that are produced from the fermentation process of either grapes or dates or apples, etc. So if you have a wine, if you have a beer, if you have something that intoxicates a drink that was made by fermentation of the grapes and the dates and the alp apples according to some scholars then it's not only the consumption that is prohibited but it is beyond the consumption because it is considered najis najis means impure to touch so if you were to have wine poured all over you it is impure it can never ever be pure even if it was to be put into a sanitizer as a wine remember this so the wines the beers they are not only prohibited to consume but they are impure to touch as well let me explain these two one is haram and halal and the other is najis and tahir so when it comes to the wines that are from a fermentation process, they are both najis, which means impure to touch, and haram, which means prohibited to consume. Do you get it? If the alcohol was, was produced through a synthetic means in a laboratory, and usually it's, you know, colorless, Subhanallah, that is haram to consume because of the intoxicating factor, but it is pure to touch. So pure that in fact it, it is a disinfectant and it is used to disinfect, to remove impurity from the body. So it can never be halal to consume, but if it is fermented and from a fermentation process then the chances are it will be najis as well unanimously when it comes to grape and dates and even uh, apples and so on it is najis as well from the fermentation process may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease so to conclude sanitizers with alcohol are fine they probably would render your hands clean and disinfect them the same applies to alcohol swabs the same applies to alcohol in perfumes the same applies to alcohol in cosmetics it is not the khamr and it is not that najis uh, it is not the najis wines or beers and when it comes to that which was created from a fermentation process the wines and the beers then we would say that that is not only prohibited to consume because of the intoxicating factor, but it is also prohibited to touch. It would be considered impure if it were to uh, be touched. May Allah grant you guys ease. Wallahu a'lam. Wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.